CIET-NCERT presents curriculum based series Dhwani Shala So let's join in Dhwani Shala class 5 Hello children how are you I hope you and your dear ones are safe at home As you know you cannot go to school due to coronavirus but you need not worry In a few weeks school will reopen and you can go back meet your classmates play with friends and learn new things But for now I will help you with your studies at home I'm your friend Sakshi and today we will talk about something that is loved by all the children I will give you a few hints and you have to guess what I'm talking about. Okay, let's start. It is something cold, creamy and sweet. It can be white, yellow, pink or of any color. You eat it mostly during summers. Can you guess? Yes, you have guessed it right. I'm talking about ice cream. You must be wondering why I'm describing ice creams to you. That's because I like them too. And so, when I saw a poem on ice cream, I just had to share it with you. It is in unit 1 of the Marie Gold book 5, your English textbook. If you have the book, please open page number 2. If you don't, it doesn't matter. You can still hear the poem. Later you can read it when you get the book or a photocopy of the poem so you need not worry at all and let us listen together to the poem titled Ice Cream Man by Rachel Field she has described the delightful scene of an ice cream seller completely surrounded by children just like you so let's first listen to the poem what is cold sweet and creamy and wonderful to eat everyone's favorite treat especially on a hot summer day is an ice cream and everyone's favorite person might just be the ice cream man when summer's in the city and breaks a blaze of heat the ice cream man with his little cart goes trundling down the street Beneath his round umbrella oh what a joyful sight to see him fill the cones with mounds of cooling brown and white vanilla chocolate strawberry or chili things to drink from bottles full of frosty fizz green orange white or pink his cart might be a flower bed of roses and sweet peas the way the children cluster round as thick as honey bees hi i'm back did you like the poem and did you sing along that is very important always practice your poem okay now i'm sure you know the meaning of most of the words but now let us understand the meaning of some of the lines and new words that might have come across and we also need to find out what the poet wanted to say okay we will take one line as it comes to begin with i am reading the first line out when summers in the city okay tell me when do we see ice cream sellers we mostly see them during the summer breaks right because it is hot during the summer months and we really really wish to eat something cold so when summer has come to your city you see ice cream sellers in the neighborhood moving on to the second line breaks a blaze of heat so the summer season also makes bricks so hot that it feels as if the brick is a blaze of heat in this line we have two new words which are brick and blaze now i'm sure you know what a brick is I want you to close your eyes and imagine a house that is being constructed. Think of something red and hard and rectangular which is used in building houses. Something that masons put side by side in a row 
then they put cement on top and then again one more row on top of the cement in this way they make a wall now you recall what a brick is great also i am sure you have seen fire scenes in the movies the flames of fire spread very fast and sometimes burn an entire building right so a blaze is the fast spreading fire so the poet talks of the heat in summer and has compared the rising temperature of the city to a fire we must remember how hot a fire is we are afraid to touch anything that is so hot because it may burn us hence when everything is so hot we want something cooler so who will come now to help the children against this heat moving on to the next line the ice cream man with his little cart yes when you want something really ice and cold the ice cream man comes with his little vehicle that is a cart i'm sure you must have seen a big rectangular box inside which all the ice creams are kept and the ice cream man puts his hand inside the box and takes out ice cream when you want right that is the cart he comes with this cart that is full of ice creams now the next line the ice cream man with his little cart goes trundling down the street this means that he is moving very slowly on the road why do you think he is not moving fast his cart is heavy due to the weight of so many ice creams inside there is another reason why he is moving slowly that's because he wants to give time to all the kids to get their money from their parents and come out to buy the ice creams okay moving on to the next line beneath his round umbrella so here is a new word beneath beneath means below so beneath the umbrella means below the umbrella now we will look at the entire line it means as it is hot outside under the open sun the ice cream man has an umbrella over his cart to cover himself don't you cover yourself with umbrella and caps when you go out during summers yes he also does the same thing oh what a joyful sight why because the happy kids rush out to buy ice creams it has become a happy and joyful sight to see now do you recall how excited you become when you line up and wait to hold that tasty cold ice cream in your hand and when your parents and other people see this joyful sight they become happy too the next line says to see him fill the cones so when you go out to buy an ice cream you give the ice cream man the money and you tell him which ice cream you want to buy right and when you tell him that you want a softy he first takes a cone and then he scoops out some ice cream from his ice cream box and puts it inside your softy corn right and then he takes another scoop and puts it over the first one so what do you have you have one ice cream over the other one and of course the cone is eatable too you eat the cone right so this is what this line says moving on to the next line to see him fill the cones with mounds of cooling brown and white so he fills the ice cream cones with cool brown what is cool brown it means the chocolate flavor and white means the milky flavor ice cream or it may be vanilla ice cream which is white right so the small mountains of ice cream that he fills in your cones are the mounds okay i will spell out the word mounds m o u n d s it means hill a small hill or a mountain so a hill is made on your cone with the scoops of ice cream that he has added am i clear okay now vanilla chocolate strawberry what are these vanilla flavored ice cream is a very sweet ice cream that is white in color you all already know what a chocolate flavor is don't you it is the brown sweet chocolate bar that you eat that is the chocolate flavor and what about strawberry 
Strawberry is a fruit that is small in size and is pink in color, so strawberry ice cream is also pink. Can you think of some other fruit that is found in India during summers? Okay, let me give you some hint. It is also used to make ice creams. Mm, you can't guess? Okay, let me tell you something more. It is mostly yellow with some orange shade. And its pulp is juicy and very sweet. Can you think? Yes, you guessed it right. It is mango. Haven't you eaten mango ice creams? Oh, my mouth is watering. And you know, this ice cream man also has chilly things to drink in his cart. Do you remember buying sweet flavored ice drinks? These are chilled. And what does chill means? It means very cold. Now, moving on to the next line. From bottles full of frosty fizz. I repeat, from bottles full of frosty fizz. Now, frosty is another new word for you. It is spelt as F R O S T Y. It means frozen. When you put water in your freezer, it becomes frosty, right? That is, it turns into ice. So that is frosty. And fizz, F I Z Z or F I double Z is the gas that is added to the chilled drink. Remember, whenever you open any cold drink, you see many gas bubbles in it, right? Now, that is what we call as fizz. So, he sells fizz-filled cold drinks which are very tasty. Moving on to the next line, green, orange, white or pink. Now, of course, these drinks come in different colors just like the ice cream, like pink, orange, yellow. The colors could be any. Now coming to the last stanza, his cart might be a flower bed. Now look at this beautiful line. A poet compares his cart with a bed of flowers. Why do you think she does so? The next line, of roses and sweet peas. We all have seen flowers, especially the rose. They are used to make garlands and are also offered to gods during prayers. But what are sweet peas? Sweet pea is also a flower. It is small in size and comes in different shades of pink and red. Now children, as we have come across the word rose, I will tell you something more about it, right? If there is a single rose, we call it rose. But if there are many of them, we call them roses. R O S E S. So that is the plural form. So you need to repeat after me. Rose, roses. When you say rose, you say it with a z sound. Listen carefully to me. Rose. Did you hear the z sound? Okay. Now the plural form roses. It ends with a s sound. Listen carefully again, okay? Rose Roses, rose, roses, nose, noses, nose, noses, and then pose becomes poses. I repeat, pose, poses, and toes become toeses. Okay, now the plural form roses, it ends with the sound sir. So now you need to listen carefully again. Rose, roses, I repeat, rose, Roses, nose, noses, and pose become poses. I repeat, pose becomes poses, and toes become toeses. <laughs> no, I tricked you. Toes is already plural. There is no such word as toeses. That was just a joke. Can you name some other flowers that bloom around your house? Do you know how does a marigold look like? And what does a jasmine? Is sunflower yellow in color? Ask your siblings to help you identify some more flowers that grow around your house. Now, the way the children cluster around as thick as honeybees. So these are the last two lines of our poem and they mean that the children cluster around the ice cream man. 
Now, cluster is a new word. First, we will learn how to spell it. It is C L U S T E R. Okay? So, it means to stand closely together in a group. When you rush out to buy your favorite thing, you become impatient and forget to form a line. So, you stand together in a group, right? But now we know that coronavirus is outside waiting just for you. You should not do that. I hope you remember to stand at a distance away from other children and people. Remember children, never ever join a crowd, okay? So do not form cluster around the ice cream man that comes around your house. Now, we are moving on to the last line of the poem and that is as thick as honey bees. What else have you seen coming in a group? Have you seen how birds also fly together in the sky? And what about bees? Have you seen them flying and buzzing in a group and how do they buzz? Bzzz. Right. This is a swarm of honey bees. So, similarly, excited children group around the ice cream man, just like a big group of honey bees. The poet has compared the ice cream cart to a bed of flowers and the children to a group of bees that gets attracted to the flowers' beautiful colors and the scent that comes out of them. Just the way children are attracted towards the tasty and different flavored ice creams. I hope you have understood the entire poem. Now, we will listen to the poem once again and please don't forget to sing along. What is cold, sweet and creamy and wonderful to eat? Everyone's favorite treat, especially on a hot summer day, is an ice cream. And Everyone's favorite person might just be the ice cream man. When summer's in the city and breaks a blaze of heat, the ice cream man with his little cart goes trundling down the street. Beneath his round umbrella, oh, what a joyful sight to see him fill the cones with mounds of cooling brown and white. Vanilla chocolate, strawberry or chili things to drink from bottles full of frosty fizz, green, orange, white or pink. His cart might be a flower bed of roses and sweet peas, the way the children cluster round as thick as honey bees. That was fun, wasn't it? And did you notice something? There are some words in our poem that begin with the same sound. Now, can you point them out? Yes, first one is bricks a blaze. There is a repetition of the B sound, bricks a blaze, right? And then there is another line. It is full of frosty fizz. I repeat, full of frosty fizz. What is the sound that is being repeated in this line? The F sound, the F, right? F sound. Let's say these words again. Repeat after me. Bricks are blaze, full of frosty fizz. Say again. Bricks are blaze, full of frosty fizz. Yes, that was fun, right? And now I will give you another line and you have to repeat after me. Okay, listen carefully. She sells seashells on the sea shore. Say it with me again. She sells seashells on the sea shore. Okay. Now you have to say it fast, right? She sells seashells on the sea shore. She sells seashells on the sea shore. Could you say that? I hope you could. Okay. Now this also reminds me that in class 4 you had a tongue twister. Do you remember? Okay, if you don't remember, I'll tell you. It is, Betty bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter that Betty bought was bitter. So, Betty bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better. Could you say that? I'll repeat it for you. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter that Betty bought was bitter. So, Betty bought some better butter 
to make the bitter butter better. Okay kids, I hope you could say Betty bought a bit of butter. And now I will tell you another interesting thing. But you need to be very careful. So let's begin. You know about Eskimos, don't you? They are people who live in extremely cold regions. They wear thick warm clothes with hoods to cover their hair and ears. Now what is hood? And how do we spell it? Hood is H double O D S. It is the cap that is attached with your warm jacket to protect you from extreme cold. So Eskimos also wear clothes that have hoods. Okay? And their houses are built not with bricks or stones or cement but with ice. Yes, the same ice from which ice cream is also made. So huge ice blocks are cut and laid on top of each other and shaped to make round houses which are called as igloo. And I will tell you the spelling. It is I G L W O. And you know what? Sometimes when I sit in my house and I have my ice cream, I wonder, do Eskimos eat ice cream? What do you think? Do they eat ice cream? Well, yesterday I decided to find it out. And would you believe it? They actually eat ice cream. Of course, Eskimo ice creams are not made up of milk or cream because you won't find cows or camels or even buffaloes in these cold regions. But yes, it is made from animal fat, fresh berries and of course ice cream. It is called Akutak and how do we spell it? It is spelled as A K U T A Q. Did you know this? Isn't this interesting? Okay, now I will also tell you one more thing. Think of the time when there were no refrigerators. So ice cream couldn't be made or stored at home the way we do it today, right? We go to the store, we buy ice cream and we store it at home. But think of the time when there were no refrigerators. The only ice cream that anyone could eat was to be bought from the ice cream man who would bring lots of ice creams in his cart. So my parents told me that in old days they had an ice cream making machine at home which looked like a wooden bucket. Now just imagine, they used it to make homemade ice cream, but the ice cream had to be eaten at once. They cannot store it. So, fresh, cold and wonderful ice cream, only enough for five to six people, was made at home. And this way, they used to have a small ice cream party. So friends, I hope you had fun reading about the ice cream man and the different kind of ice cream that Eskimos eat. What was it called? Akutak. A-K-U-T-A-Q. So children, before I go, let us summarize the poem. We saw that when it is very hot outside and the heat is unbearable, then comes our favorite ice cream man who has cold and tasty ice creams and cold drinks for children. And this makes the children get very excited as they run out of their homes and cluster around him to buy their favorite ice creams. And when they do so, how do they look like? Yes, they look like honeybees hovering over flower beds. Now you will say I have again used a new word. The new word is hovering. And how do we spell it? H-O-V-E-R-I-N-G Howring. Okay? And what does it mean? It means when the bees roam around the flower, that is called howring. Right? Let us now look at the new words that we read in the poem. They were blaze. I will tell you the spelling again. B L A Z E. Now, this will be your homework that you make one sentence with the word blaze. Okay, moving on to the next new word that we learnt, it was trundling, T-R-U-N-D-L-I-N-G. What did trundling mean? It means moving down slowly. Okay, remember the ice cream man was trundling and why was he trundling? Because First of all, his cart was heavy with ice creams and second, 
He was waiting for children like you to take money from their parents and to come out and buy the ice cream. So he was purposefully trundling. The next word was frosty fizz. The spelling was F R O S T Y fizz F I double Z or F I Z Z. Now what was frosty? Frosty meant something which was frozen. Remember, we make ice cream by freezing the water in the refrigerator. So it becomes frosty. And what was fizz? Fizz is the bubble that comes out of cold drinks, the gas bubbles. Okay? The next word is vanilla. V A N I double L A. Now what is vanilla or how does it look like? It is an ice cream flavor that is white in color. It is creamy. And what was the next flavor that we learnt? Strawberry. And how do we spell strawberry? S T R A W B E R R Y. Strawberry. Remember, it is a fruit that is pink in color and the flavor of the fruit is used to make ice creams. So, obviously, the ice cream is also pink in color. The next word is mounds. M O U N D S. Tell me, what was mounds? Yes, mounds were the hills or the mountains of ice cream that the ice cream man made by scooping out ice cream and putting it on your softy cone. Exactly, you are right over there. The next word is cluster. C L U S T E R. What is cluster? Remember, I told you not to cluster because there is coronavirus waiting outside for you. So, cluster means to make a group. You are not supposed to make a group or stand together and talk. Okay? Even when you are playing, you are supposed to maintain social distancing. You need to stand away from your friend and then talk. Do not cluster. Okay? And the last word is honeybees. H O N E Y B double E S. So, honeybees are the insects which we find flying around the flowers. Why? Because the flowers are colorful and so honeybees get attracted to them. And what do they do around the flowers? They collect honey. Okay? So, honeybees are our friends. So, students, I hope you had fun reading about the ice cream man, the different kind of ice creams that Eskimos eat and the tongue twisters that we did. I'll have to leave you now. Hoping that today you will make your own ice cream at home and will enjoy it with the entire family. Bye for now. Take care and stay safe. So friends, you were just listening to this series Dhwani Shala. Production assistants Minakshi Kukreti and Tanu Gupta. Recorded by Bati Lang Lingdo. Produced by Ajit Horo. This series was brought to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.